What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. We've got something really cool today. We've got our 2018 Trackhawk here. We've got some engine work to be doing on it. I know it's a little bit crazy to see one of these newer Trackhawks having some engine damage, but we've got some issues. So one of the complaints that the customer had was we have a misfire on cylinder six. Upon uh, diagnosing, we found that we've got some oil burning in that cylinder. So I don't know if you guys can see here, We've got some oil buildup on our spark plugs. Big, crusty buildup of it. It doesn't want to focus. <laughs> Whatever, there's a, there's a big oil buildup on it. So we're gonna be actually needing to tear into this motor. Uh, more than likely, we either have some cylinder wall damage or an oil piston ring issue. So we've gotta be able to uh, take the engine apart, take the right cylinder head off to do some inspections. So, we're going to give you guys a little montage on tearing this engine apart.
90 pound supercharger. Big open motor. That's what we're talking about. So after getting this uh, supercharger off, we can see down in all of our intake runners that we have quite a lot of oil getting through there. They get, have a look in our PCV and there's quite a bit of oil in there too. We looked in our supercharger. The supercharger's got about a half an inch oil on the bottom of it, so we've got some blow-by issues. Looking into the runners, we've got oil, 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 except for cylinder six, which is the misfiring cylinder that we have. Cylinder six is pretty clean compared to the other ones that have quite a lot of oil there. Now the other thing that we thought was weird was down inside of this cylinder, if you look inside of there at the valve, there's quite a lot of buildup down there on that intake valve. Whereas if you look in the other cylinders that have a lot of oil blow by, those are, thing, those are uh, pretty darn clean, comparative. Each one of those have quite a bunch of clean intake valves. So it's kind of an odd thing. So we got the okay, we are gonna go ahead and pull the right cylinder head.
Trackhawk draws first blood. I'll get you back. The Hellcat may have struck first, but I ripped its head off. Cylinder head. Obviously we're still full of coolant, but we're gonna rotate the engine over and have a look at the uh, cylinder walls. So moving on in for inspection here, we got them cleaned out. And we're looking at our cylinder six walls in here. We've got some nice cross hashing. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot in the way of any messed up cylinder walls. Not that I can tell right off the bat. But that and it doesn't look like the carbon buildup. I mean, the carbon buildup on these is pretty bad but it doesn't look like it's that much more than these other ones. I mean, it's maybe a hair more, but they're pretty bad. That's a lot of carbon buildup. This guy must run the dog turds out of this thing. But I guess, you know, that's kind of what these things are built for, but I don't know. So upon further inspection, we pulled the head off and as you guys saw, we didn't really see any scoring in the cylinder walls as we were kind of thinking. But upon further inspection, why we had so much oil in the rest of them, but you know, not on this one, but our, the top of our valve on this one looks like crap. We are looking into our valve seat in here and the valve seal is all kinds of jacked up in there. The spring's broken on the upper retainer of it it's kind of hard to see here in this angle, but let's see if we can get a better one. But yeah, that seat is, seat and seal is all kinds of messed up inside of there. And then if we looked inside the actual cylinder in here, you can see the top of that valve has got all kinds of nasty oil buildup on it. So. We're gonna condemn this one at needing a valve seal, which unfortunately in this case, they're not really offering that. So our star center said they would like us to put a cylinder head on it. So, she gonna get a new one of them cylinder heads. Racks out, if you were to have to purchase one, they would end up being right around $4,000. Now just for shits and giggles, I had them price out the 6.2 liter supercharger on this. We figured it weighs about 90 some pounds. This thing, through Mopar's cost, is $11,600, guys, for that 90 pounds of aluminum and steel all mixed together to throw all that air down in this 6.2 liter Hellcat motor. Something pretty awesome. Well, guys, that's about all we have for the episode today. If you guys like this content, make sure you guys give a thumbs up to the channel and make sure you give a follow to it as well. We're gonna be keep on continuing with the Trackhawk as soon as we get parts in stock, we'll, guys, we'll keep you guys informed on that one. We'll put the new cylinder head on and you guys will get to hear this big old beast fire up for the first time afterwards. That'll be something cool for you guys to hear at least because this one has the uh, mufflers deleted as well and it sounds freaking killer. So stay tuned for that one guys. Make sure you keep an eye on the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of new stuff here in the next couple of weeks on scan tools and other tools. going to be a good time. As always guys, I appreciate it and you guys stay awesome.